ABC friends, today I thought I would read a story to you, um, an Easter story, because Easter is coming up and right around the corner. So the book today is called The Easter Egg Express, and I have found a way to put it into, you know, a computerized version, and I hope that you all enjoy it. And then after the book, we will talk about a an Easter craft that you guys can do at home. Okay, enjoy the book. The Easter Egg Express by Anne Mubenbrock. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. We will see. Here comes the Easter Egg Express to deliver five Easter eggs to the boys and girls. Can you guys count the Easter eggs with me? One, two, three, four, five. The first egg is for Bear. It was not hard to find the way to his house. Can we count and see how many eggs are left? One, two, three, four. The second egg is for duck. The train crosses the lake and continues on. How many Easter eggs are left on the train? Count them with me. One, two, three. The third egg is for hedgehog. His house in the forest is easy to find. How many eggs are left? One, two. The fourth egg is for beetle. Rabbit must climb a tree to reach her beautiful balloon. How many eggs are left in the train? I see one egg on the train. How many do you see? How many eggs are in the picture? Do you see two? The fifth egg is for squirrel. It's getting late. This is the last delivery. Duck, hedgehog, beetle, and squirrel all say thank you to the colorful eggs and give rabbit a basket of delicious carrots. Have fun with the Easter celebration. The end. Okay, so that was our book. And now we will do oops, our project. Okay, so here we go. Got to get it back to the first page. Okay. Easter basket craft. So first you're going to gather your materials and you will need scissors, construction paper, um, a white piece of construction paper and a colored piece. Any kind of color is great. That is up to you. Uh, you will need glue. I used a paintbrush to add the glue to my project, but you can also use a glue stick or just um, a Q-tip, whatever works best for you and whatever you have at home. You will also need a marker or some kind of drawing utensil, string or yarn, different colors and they will need to be cut into smaller pieces if you're getting them off of a big bunch or a big spool. You will need a paper plate and decorating materials such as markers, crayons, paint, glitter, whatever it is that you want to decorate your eggs and or basket with. So here we go. So first you're going to take your colored piece of construction paper and we are going to make our egg frame and this will be added at the end of decorating our eggs. So you're going to take it and you're going to fold your piece of paper widthwise so that you can end up folding it into fourths and have an equal even square after you have folded your paper into quarters. Then you're going to use your marker or other drawing utensil and you're going to draw the shape of an egg on your paper 
and you're going to draw another one inside of it and you will end up cutting out the inside egg to create your frame after you have cut out the larger egg that you drew. You should end up with about four eggs. So once you've cut out your, your colored egg, use that as a stencil to then create your white egg. So you're going to repeat the process of folding your white paper into fourths and then you will use your colored egg as a stencil. You can also do the white paper first or um, you know whatever you choose. This is just the way that I did it. I used my colored paper egg to use as a stencil on my white eggs just so that they were the same. So after I cut out my white eggs, I ended up with four. I went back to my colored egg and I cut out the center to create my frame. You can see in step 10 that I cut out the center and then you can also see that I decided I wanted to make my frame a little bit thinner and I cut around the center hole again. And you can choose the thickness of your frame. That is all up to you. It's just a matter of how much of your decorated egg you want to show. So next, I put my glue in the paint palette that I had and I used a paintbrush to brush it onto my my egg, my white egg. After I put glue on my white egg, I went through my yarn and I decided I wanted to make stripes all the way down of different colors and I made four different eggs so you will see at the end the different variations you can do and you can also use your own imagination and get really creative and decorate them however you want. Also if you don't have string or yarn you can use paper that's been cut into really thin strips, you can use just glitter, you can use essentially whatever materials you have at home that you think would work best for this project. I liked string because it added a new and fun kind of texture and you can get really creative with the glue and the what you can do with the string. So let's keep going. So once you finish decorating you're going to grab your colored egg frames and you're going to add glue using either your paintbrush or um, the glue bottle itself. I don't recommend using a glue stick for this part unless you you put the glue on the colored paper but sometimes that can get tricky. So what I did is I took my, my glue and I um, went around the edge of my decorated egg and then I added the colored frame on top and you can see in the farthest picture to the right that my four eggs are all different. I did crazy sporadic yarn using one color, I did stripes with multiple colors and then I also made a pattern on one of my eggs with blue and purple. And then in the yellow and orange egg what I did is I took the yarn in my hand and I used scissors to very carefully cut smaller pieces of yarn to then put on to my egg. So once your egg is dry you can go back and cut off the, the edges to make it more um, clean looking. That's up to you or you can have leave it messy. That's also up to you. I cut mine off and you'll see it at the end. So going on to our, um, our Easter basket craft I used a paper plate and I used a marker to draw a half circle on the inside of my paper plate. I went about halfway down. You can go higher or lower, whatever you want. Um, this is going to end up being our basket. I used the scissors to poke a hole into my paper plate and parents, you might have to do this part. Um, or if you wanna let your kids just cut right through to the line, you can do that too and then tape it back together afterwards. It's, you know, it's up to you. So then I cut out my half circle and now I have the shape of my basket. So now it's time to decorate. I decorated mine using a brown marker because I'm a realist sometimes and I wanted it to look like a basket in you know my own opinion a woven basket. But you can decorate your basket however you want. You can use different colors, you can put string on your basket, glitter, sequins, a combination of all three. You can decorate it with other colored paper. It's, it's all what you have and how you want it to look. So once I decorated my basket, I took glue and I put glue on the back side of it 
and then I stuck the eggs onto the back side, but I made sure that the tops of my eggs were poking through to the front of my basket, as you can see in the picture. You can also put glue directly on the egg and stick it on that way, whatever is easier for you. And make sure to do this after your eggs have dried to make you know this, this process a little bit easier for you. Okay, well that is our Easter basket craft to go with our Easter book. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to make more videos like this for you soon. Okay, happy Easter. Bye.